there's only one reason why, well two reasons why we're outside because it looks nice, it's not warm by any means, don't get me wrong and in this video we're gonna need slightly more room than only my living room. Let's get into this. Just a quick disclaimer, this video has not been sponsored by anyone, I have got the product for free which I've been saying to make a review on, no one's paid me to say anything so this is gonna be 100% an honest review. As you probably have noticed, I am been wearing this lav mic for, well, all these seconds of you watch this video. And the wind, the wind is all strategical. We're gonna need the wind to test what we're going to do today. So today we're doing a review of Fifine lav mic. There's many more accessories that I'm gonna show you during this video, but we came outside today to see how far this wireless lav mic for the budget price, extreme budget price, um, actually do in the real world outside windy kind of environment because I have heard this mic how it sounds indoors and uh, I'm gonna tell you about how it sounds but before we need to run through all the things that I have with me today obviously I don't have all the things with me because I only need the ones that I need to actually record the audio so you get your lav mic which you can see right down here which is uh, pretty cool. It has a really nice uh, kind of metallic clip and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break at any point. And you have your transmitter and your receiver, which is really kind of oddly shaped. Not that I have ever worked with lav mics, so maybe that's just what they are. Um, so this is the uh, transmitter. It has a very nice kind of clip that you can clip in your belt, which we're gonna do in a second, just before we do the test. And then you have the receiver, which plugs into your camera. You walk off and do your thing and these things communicate with each other very uh, wirelessly so uh, just the quick things about these two the transmitter takes two double a batteries and the receiver takes two triple a batteries don't know why they were not able to make them take the same kind of battery so you're gonna need two different sets of batteries uh, you got a little button here with a little LCD screen once you push it and hold it it comes up with a screen with the frequency and the battery level which is quite useful you can change the frequency on top here and you turn on your receiver comes up with green and then it flashes red it means it's connected I know it feels like it should be the other way around but I, I know the red is connected one so we're gonna hook up this to my trousers somewhere on my belt if I can find it well that has been hooked up right now and uh, we're just gonna plug this in my camera and then I'm just gonna walk off and we'll see well firstly how this thing sounds secondly how far this thing sounds that's the only reason why I came outside so I'll try and do it live so you can actually hear the difference straight away from my mic to this mic I forgot to mention the well, yeah, you should be actually hearing me through this thing here. Uh, I forgot to mention that the uh, receiver has like a little antenna, which I'm going to extend just to give myself a bit more chance. And uh, we're just going to walk away from the camera. You should clearly hear me. Uh, this would not be possible if I would still be using my uh, uh, my uh, hot shoe on camera boom mic, hot shoe mic, yeah. So uh, just while I'm walking here and hopefully you can hear me, um, fire ramp up to 500 I really do hope you can see. And this could be one of the giveaway prizes when we finally reach the five. Much, much, much later. I'm gonna look away from the mic. It's all muddy, it's very slippery, almost fell down. And uh, yeah, that's us. That's us right back here. However, I wanna show you something really interesting that I find. Obviously, I have never worked with lav mics, but. I find it weird having this big massive dongle hanging, hanging right down from my camera. Like, where, where is this supposed to go like? Like, it's just, it's just hanging down from the camera. It's probably not good for the cable to some sort, sort of extent. And it's probably not good for the camera socket as well. So, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of bracket you can get since I'm not using the hot shoe anymore. Maybe there's some kind of bracket I can fit this in and then like this would go on top of that. Uh, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, at this kind of point in stage, you have a big massive dongle hang uh, hanging down from your camera. And yeah, it's just not very convenient, especially if you're on a set, if you're on a shoot and all that good stuff. Uh, it's just gonna get in the way. Uh, there is uh, exactly the same type of lav mic 
with like a headset and everything i'll show you as i said i'll show you all the accessories and and the background and uh i have heard how this thing sounds I actually plug back in my mic at the moment so you can hear like the instant difference i have heard how this mic sounds and it's good for the price point it's really good i think um, it lacks bass and it sounds a little bit flat and the connectors and all that good stuff is really kind of sturdy you really don't have to be worried about that falling apart the same goes for the uh, the, the lav mic itself and uh, the transmitter and uh, even if you're not happy with how the mic sounds which I'm totally happy for the price and all things considered um, then I suppose you can always unplug this and plug any other mic you want uh, just the fact that you're getting transmitter and receiver for such a budget price it's, it's pretty cool if you look around in the market you'll be in hundreds and a couple of hundred dollars to get kind of system like this so you can swap out your mics so all things considered for the price point it works very well obviously I haven't heard the audio from the outside from here I've heard it only indoors so indoors it was okay I'm gonna say it's okay my mic that I'm using right now is really cheap as well uh, however it does have a bit more bass and it's like more slightly more fulfilling audio but obviously for the future I can see maybe shooting with a model and filming behind the scenes and like I need to walk away from the camera and all that good stuff like I'm gonna step away and you can be able, be able be, barely be able to hear me like I'm this far away and load picking up like noise and all that stuff and wind and so uh, if you're doing some, I don't know, photo workshops or lectures and stuff like that and, and you can use this or even the headset if you're doing like a lecture, cause like if you're turning around and like as soon as you turn away from this, it's gonna change the, the, the way it sounds. If you use the headset, like you got a mic microphone straight in your face the whole time. So yeah, that's been the very quick and freezing review of the uh, Five Fine Lav Mic System K037B, if I'm not mistaken. That was the full model number. I'm gonna link this down below. It's not gonna be affiliate link, but I'm still gonna link them down if you wanna check them out. Uh, and yeah, I'll try and use this in a couple of other videos to see how it goes in maybe different environments and different situations to fully give you the perspective on how well it sounds or not uh, we'll see that but yeah that's where i'll leave you guys thank you very much for watching make sure you check around for more of my videos subscribe if you haven't already and uh this by the way has been shot in an s log 3 uh, if you want to see how i edit s log 3 just uh, click above there and uh yeah great support thank you very much for watching my videos uh ramping up to 500 subs subscribers fingers crossed it's gonna happen for summer and uh yeah have a good one bye bye Thank you.